Good day, brothers and sisters in Christ, and let's dive into the Word. As today I was reading today's Gospel, I was reflecting on truly the idea of what Jesus said is that unless I, be- I, unless I believe in Jesus, I will continuously living, live in sin and be, and be dead to sin. And the understanding of that, it challenged me to really ask the question, do I really believe in Jesus? Do I really live in sin and then reach out to God, reach out to Jesus and seek Him in my life? I think growing up, I always had the idea that you know, being born into a Catholic family and having going to Sunday school and being taught all this while about my Catholic faith is that, yeah, okay, you know, that is, I should believe in Jesus, I should believe in God, I should believe in in Trinity. All of this belief was put into my heart when I was a very small boy and I grew up with it. But along the way, I realized that my relationship with Jesus was the important thing that I believed in Him personally that my personal relationship with Him was the one that He looks for He doesn't look for people who are just followers but people who live out their life believing in Him I think the word that struck me was that that I should believe in Him, but also that I am always to seek Him. And to seek Him with all my heart, knowing that, yes, because of original sin, I live naturally falling into sin. And the belief that I need to put out in my heart is that I have to seek Him all the time. And the question you may ask is, how do we seek Him all the time? It's true, the idea of confession. And brothers and sisters, now is the season of Lent. Yes, in this season, we may not be able to go to confession right now. But really, the important thing right now is for us to have the act of contrition. To really take this time of Lent to look inward, introspect the areas of our lives and what areas do we really need to let go and let God come in. Areas where we need to let go of sin in our lives. The areas where we need to let go of our pride, our anger, everything that brings us further away from God, further away from our salvation and into this pool of sin that we live in. But it's not that daunting and not that sad because we know that when we turn to Jesus, He takes away that sin. He washes us away from that sin. And what He does is that He he absorbs all our sin. And what He he puts into us is that love that He has, that He died on the cross, that He died for all our sins. But so the important thing is to for us to go back to Him. Yes, it's encouraged, especially throughout the years, it's encouraged for all Catholics to go to confession at least minimum twice a year. And yes, it's coming to that time of the year where we always go for confession. But as I shared earlier, the first thing is for us to be contrite in our heart to look into our heart but next it's important is to immediately as far as possible whenever we know that there is a penitential service available to us or even confession and we can make an appointment with the priest we should go and truly be right with Jesus that we truly can have celebrate this season of Easter truly celebrating God Jesus resurrection and his strength and defeat of sin in our lives. So brothers and sisters, I invite you today 
to begin this act, this sense of contrition, and to really start beginning this time of really looking to ourselves, looking to our lives, and seeing the areas of our life that we really need to invite Jesus and to seek Him earnestly to break this power of sin of our lives. So let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your word that's alive and active and speaking to our hearts. But we invite you also, Lord Jesus, to help us, Lord Jesus, to begin this process of being contrite in our, in our lives, to begin the process of really looking into the areas of sin that has crippled us. And because you say that, Lord, yeah, you say that sin is the area of where we can die. So we pray right now, Lord Jesus, that you would free us from the bondage of sin, free us from the effects of sin in our lives, and that, that we truly celebrate your resurrection and the new life that you give us at the death and resurrection, this passion week is coming ahead. Help us, Lord, to seek you, to know you, and to love you even more as we take this season of Lent to reflect, but help us also reflect not only on what we are lacking in our areas of sin, but what on the focus on your resurrection and the grace you give us to always come back to you and always break the bondage of sin in our lives. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. Have a good season of Lent and let us continue preparing ourselves for the resurrection of God.